If you are new to our channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for receiving latest updates on exams, research positions and guidance videos. So let's start the video. Hey guys, welcome to Inspire Chemistry. Today we are doing a very important video on interview experience for in PhD and PhDs. Indian Institute of Science, Education and Research, Bhopal, one of the top research and education institutes in the country. So it is uh, one of the newest ICERs that was established around 2008 and since then uh, in just like 10 to 12 years it has uh, managed to raise its name in the world uh, on the world platform and uh, many of you know that uh, if you look at the NIR ranking or even the uh, world ranking of ICER Bhopal it is actually keep on increasing and the rate of increase is much more than even the top institutes like ISC or ICER Kolkata or ICER Pune. So ICER Pune, uh, ICER Bhopal is doing really well in terms of research and education and one of the best parts going to a ICER for your in PhD is that not only you get a good environment for your research but uh, uh, institutes like ICER always make sure that they provide a uh, very good coursework. So in places where research is really good, uh, you might not find uh, that professors are put putting so much effort into coursework, but at ICERs, uh, both things go hand in hand. So ICER Bhopal is really a good option if you for all of you, uh, if you're from maths, chemistry, biology, and other uh, microbiology. So even if you belong to most class, any class of basic science, I think ISA Bhopal is doing really, really good. So uh, let's go to uh, what really happens in the interview. So before uh, jumping into the interview, I'd like to give you some tips. So uh, in most of the interview that you will be facing, uh, you need to be uh, really confident about what you're saying. And secondly, uh, you always need to, uh, sometime, uh, sometimes what happens is that you may not be explaining the same thing as the question uh, they raised. So make sure that you provide a bit of explanation and trying to relate what they asked. And even if you're not able to give answer, try to go uh, around it, try to uh, reach the question, uh, try to reach the answer. And Institutes like this, professors, when you go for interview, they always support you. They make sure that they take out uh, your knowledge. So uh, don't get, depre uh, don't get uh, depressed like uh, I'm not able to do this question. Do, uh, don't worry, take your time and try to, even if you can't find the right answer, try to explain them that this could be a right uh, path. Show them that you're trying hard for it. Show that, that you're searching for a way to reach that answer and they are quite considerate all the professors were quite, quite considerate so that really means, uh, matters another thing uh, uh, if you don't know answer of any question that like a direct question you have no clue about that uh, please don't uh, like go in circles don't try to confuse professors or just uh, jumbling the things it doesn't work that way just say that I've not studied it or uh, I don't have knowledge on it it's totally acceptable nobody has all the knowledge so they will ask you a different question and you might be able to do that one so uh, please uh, don't uh, give wrong answers to any question other than this uh, Again, it's really important that all the interviews, irrespective of, of uh, the place it is happening, it, let it be ICER, ISC, ICER Pune, JNCSR, TIFR, interview questions would be conceptual. So make sure that you uh, are good at doing conceptual questions, similar like JAM and other places, and you might need to derive some things as well if you're from physics or maths. Okay, so let's go to the actual interview experience. So uh, there, uh, if you go for an interview in ICER Bhopal, particularly in chemistry, so uh, the first time then you, uh, you, when you go to ICER uh, Bhopal, they'll uh, make you comfortable, they'll uh, give you a space to sit, uh, they'll give you a space to think, and especially uh, the fact that they'll greet you really well, they'll ask you some simple questions, where are you from, they make sure that you're comfortable in that particular place. And uh, one important thing that is quite different as compared to other ICERs is the fact that uh, you uh, in the ICERs, usually if you look at Kolkata, JNCS, uh, uh, ICER Pune, or other research institutes, you are generally asked preferences, like would you like to give an uh, interview on physical or chemistry, organic chemistry, or let's say inorganic chemistry. But in ICER Bhopal, uh, there's no, they don't ask you a preference, because it's this time it's online and there's so many applicants, they might just ask for preference, but believe me, usually they don't consider your preferences as well. Other than this, uh, they always have the question uh, prepared with them. So when I entered the uh, uh, this hall, I saw that there were both around there and there were already written questions on them. 
So usually the questions are very well framed and you just need to do the same questions. Most people need to go through the similar questions uh, for uh, the interview. So since the interview is online, so I'm expecting that you might just get questions on the slides. Uh, like they will show you some slides and make sure that you have a lot of things with you. You have a good camera, you have a writing pad with you and uh, you have a good, you, you have compatibility with the software. So we've already made a video on this. Uh, uh, like how to give an online interview and you can check this out to know how uh, an interview happened like last year 2020 when that was the first wave of COVID. So with that experiments I'm sure that this video will help you and the link is in the description box. Okay so let's start. So uh, in the interview experience uh, since they don't ask for your uh, 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 preference they may ask questions from all fields let it be organic physical and inorganic chemistry so the question that i faced was on first question was on heterocyclic drinks so make sure that uh, i think one or two people around me faced the same question so uh, i was given a ring cyclic ring which had two three cyclic rings around it and then i had a nitrogen at a particular place and i was asked where would the electrophilic or nucleophilic substitution would happen so in that particular case you need to really need to look at the positions so some of you might have already studied in your jam so similar questions would be asked and you can uh, i expect that you will be able to answer that question after that uh, uh, i was asked uh, to tell the haplicity of that particular cyclic molecule uh, so they gave since there were three four, four uh, three to four double bonds they asked me what could be the possible haplicity haplicity is uh, so haplicity comes from a double bond or a triple bond. How much of them can uh, 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 act with the metal? So how much electrons does it donate to the metal? So what is the particular coordination that a molecule can offer? So I was asked this particular question. And then I was asked once I uh, uh, named the ha haplicity, okay, it would be four. Uh, they made me count the uh, complex by 18 electron rule and they wanted me to verify whatever I answered is correct or not. So you can see uh, and then uh, just after that they asked me kinetics as well for that particular molecule. Uh, basically it involved a uh, lot of questions, some steady state as well. So uh, you see that in isopopal interviews like uh, they start with you start with something then they keeps expanding it like started with a heterocyclic molecule then added uh, haplicity to it then added uh, this uh, organometallics to it 18 electron root then it's kinetics so it just expands like anything okay and then after that I was given a norborine ring and there was a reaction where I had to open the norborine ring and there were I was uh, I was expected to give a reagent uh, and make a stereospecific uh, coordination at a particular point. So if you're, if you're good at organic, I think these questions are very much doable and uh, I think you will be able to do this. After uh, this organic uh, things finished, they asked me to write the Maxwell equation and a physical, uh, uh, physical aspect of a uh, uh, equation like what does a Maxwell equation this particular Maxwell equation explains so they asked me to uh, for uh, Maxwell equations and what what were the, what would be the physical significance after that they asked me the Van't Hoff uh, equation so there are basically two types one is the pressure dependent and equilibrium uh, constant dependent so make sure you're really good at uh, this thermodynamics and phase uh, transition thing because not only in ISA Bhopal I was asked this related questions in I, uh, JNCSR and ISA Pune as well so uh, make sure that you study phase transitions really nice this that is easy and you i was expected to um, uh, draw uh, i was expected to derive this um, uh, equilibrium constant and uh, at temperature dependent equilibrium constant equations so you you might expect one or two questions where you need to derive however the possibility of deriving is really less in these online interviews because there are so many candidates so make sure that you revise that uh, after that kinetics as i mentioned is really important simple kinetics was also asked to me so make sure that you revise the kinetics especially the enzyme ones uh, enzyme kinetics are really important because isa bhopal does a really good research in enzymes and uh, bio organic chemistry so uh, it would be a really cool choice if you can, uh, uh, I mean, they would be really interested if you can do perform organic reactions and you have a good hand on it. So uh, that could be an uh, uh, edge to you. After that, uh, they also asked me uh, the Z-salt. So again, our organometallic question. So uh, they asked me if I substitute uh, the hydrogen on, the, on this uh, uh, alkene, how would the stretching frequency will vary it? 
uh, again, uh, I forgot to mention, they also asked me the first molecule, that heterocyclic, what would be the number of NMR signals. So again, that was uh, pretty, uh, I mean, that was difficult for me to answer, but I'm sure you would be able to answer that question. So NMR is really important. I mean, everybody should have knowledge on it. And um, uh, people are really less prepared for uh, such a tough question on uh, these uh, cyclic rings uh, and where there would be different frequencies for hydrogen. After this, uh, as I have, di I did these uh, uh, NPTEL certification in organometallics and uh, uh, symmetry and point groups. So make sure if you have good internships, if you have a good certification from NPTEL or NPTEL from ISA Bhopal, these are really acknowledged. And I've seen people who are able to get into in PhD just because they had internships, they had good research projects in their bachelors. So do not lose this as any opportunity of that. So already I've made video on a research internship that is in Kolkata and uh, Bhopal itself. So make sure you grab the opportunity in the first instance. And by this uh, uh, thing, you will be able to get an introduction of their work as well. So since there were two rounds, uh, after first round, the major, uh, the second round, although I didn't face the second round, but usually what happens in the second round, uh, as I uh, asked some of my friends, so e usually if they ask you, uh, let's say two branches, inorganic and physical, they'll ask you organic. If you have been asked organic and physical in the first round, you will be asked uh, uh, inorganic in the second round. And it won't be very long as it won't be as uh, competent as the first one. So uh, that would be a relaxed type of interview, the second round. And then your uh, uh, preferences would be asked, where would you like to work? They'll try to get a background of your uh, thing. Where did you do your bachelor's and all these things? And a simple question that most of the institutes give you is why do you want to join this particular interview, uh, this particular institute? Let's say ISAR Bhopal. So why do you want to go to ISAR Bhopal? So make sure that you are really, really prepared about this. You can check out all the instrumental facilities, all the things that um, ISAR provides, uh, whatever facilities are there, what are the coursework, what do you think can benefit you? So all these questions really do impact the uh, professor's mind and they might just take you if you have a good knowledge of uh, what you're looking for. I mean. Clarity of mind could be a really important thing in the interview. So with that, I think uh, you would be able to uh, do good in the interview. And I have already made uh, videos uh, in our channel. We have videos from ISA Pune. We have videos from ISC, JNCSR. So make sure that you watch those videos as well. And it would be pretty much similar. So I wish you guys all the best and congratulations on being selected. Uh, if you have any questions, let us know in the comment box. We'll try to answer you. I wish you all the best from Inspire Chemistry side. Bye.